guys welcome back um so this is unboxing number three from my diamond art club delivery very excited so this is the biggest one out of all three um a little bit overwhelmed i think it's a square and it's big um but i'm excited i'm very very excited to show you this one so the three I've got, I know they are not brand new releases. Um, they are canvases that I have had my eye on for quite a while. Um, yes, some of the new releases were amazing, but I have had my eye on all three of these um, for quite some time when they've been coming in and out of stock. So I was more interested in getting these ones than the new ones. The only other one I've really wanted so far is Ice Princess, the first edition. Uh, but obviously when I looked it wasn't in stock and then obviously once these had been ordered I then typically got the email to say it was back in stock but yeah I couldn't justify ordering again so this was unfortunately I missed out on that one but I am happy that I've got these three I've been wanting for a while so very excited so this one is off to the ball I'm going to take you in closer in a moment um, just to show you all the details. But yeah, this is, again, I love Hannah Lynn art. I love, um, I've done Melinda and Muhu and Moonglow from her already. I think they are, I just love the charting of them. I love any canvases that have got a lot of colour. Um, I don't like anything that I class as too serious. Um, I obviously did the Chuck Pinson one before this one but that was a gorgeous bright happy beach scene it was amazing um it's just beautiful um i love the hannah Lynn ones i love how it's a cartoon but it's not babyish cartoon style um just beautiful and obviously this is the biggest one i'll have been doing from hannah Lynn. and um, the moon glow and melinda and moo who were about 42 by 66 or something like that um, this one's a little bit bigger so I've already took the cellophane off this one because I didn't want to be battling with that on camera again Teddy and Treacle are locked out of the ha out of this room although you may hear Treacle barking in case the post gets delivered anytime soon so <coughs> excuse me I've been out in doing the school school run so I'm being a little bit cold this morning so it's got to me a bit Whoa, that's big. Right. Ooh, this is exciting. Right, so I'm going to take you in first and then I'll take you back out to show you the canvas. So, here we go. <gasps> so exciting. So exciting. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you know I don't really like doing... I don't do many... I think I've only got one disney canvas which is one of the ones i got sent from a company it wasn't one i actually chose um i don't like doing what i call sort of canvases i see everybody doing all the time um i i just don't I, I like to do something a bit different something that i've not seen 10 people do the same one of um however such as the peacock one i'm doing now i have seen a lot of people do but that was bought specifically because my daughter wanted it for her bedroom and it was the nicest peacock one I could find. Um, but most of the other ones I've done, obviously Melinda and Moo Hill Moon Glow, if you buy from Diamond Art Club, chances are you've at least done one of those. Um, but most of the others I've done, I believe, I haven't seen many other people do, bar the first couple I did when I first started, didn't know any better. <laughs> um, and that's not because I don't like the ones that people do. Please don't get me wrong. I just, I just like to do something that I've not seen other people do. I, I, I don't want to feel like I'm copying people all the time. I I like to take on, I like the big landscape scenes. Um, I like abstract ones. Obviously, mermaids and unicorns are always going to be high up on my list. Um, obviously, I know people have done this one. I know people have done um, these Diamond Art Come ones because they obviously only have a limited amount of stock. The stock comes in and out and they sell, out, they sell out as soon as they come back into stock. So I know that these have been done a few times by people that do buy from Diamond Art Club. But 
I've only, I've not seen as many people do this one as I have. Um, for example, I've seen more people do Ice Princess as much as I really want it, and I've seen more people do Ice Princess than this one. I've seen a lot of people do Mother Earth, um, the Nutcrackers one that I've seen a lot of people do. So they, I tended to sh shy away from those, and I just, I thought this one was the size is amazing. It's a seventy by eighty eight. So it's a really big one. It's a square, so it's going to be my biggest square one to date. So it's going to take a long time. I think this one. I still don't know. I'm going to fit it on my um, on my desk, but we'll just deal with it. <laughs> I love the colours. Oh. Where with me guys, someone's at the door. Two secs. Hi, I'm back. I'm back again. Sorry, it was just someone popping a card through the door. I don't know why they felt the need to knock because they disappeared by the time I got to the door. Very strange. Anyway, what was I saying? I hate it when I get interrupted because I then my I get brain fog constantly and I completely forgot what I've told you. So sometimes when it comes to editing, I'll be watching it and I think, well, I've just repeated myself or I forgot to say what I was intending to say. So Please, I do apologise, but that's just me. <laughs> so, yeah, so sorry, this is Off to the Ball by Hannah Lynn. It is a 70 by 88 centimetres canvas. It's a full square drill, and it does have ABs in this one. And I just thought the image was beautiful. Um, I know there's 310 in this, which I absolutely hate. I hate, hate, hate doing 310, especially in square but it is an image i've wanted for so long so i just i'm gonna have to just suck it up and do it aren't i and just get on with it i know there's going to be a lot of 310 sort of on the horizon here with the silhouettes there's going to be a lot of it here and obviously we've all always got the um outlines with these pictures same with like hannah Lynn's and mandy manzano's they're always going to have the black outlines but I'm hoping, I couldn't really see any big, deep, sort of like big colour blocking with 310, so I'm hoping there isn't. Although I said that and now I'm looking here and here and here. <laughs> oh well, I'll have a look when I open it up. Oh dear, so we have 55 colours on this. So I think this is the most colours I've done so far on a canvas. I've done 54 before, not 55. And we have number one and two, which are our ABs, which looks like... Oh, we've got three ABs. Oh, that's exciting. I thought I only had two. <laughs> I was going to say I'm surprised we haven't got a blue AB, but yeah, there we have, right there, number three. So one, two and three are our AB colours. Looks like we've got a pink or a lilac. Um, a pale cream colour, maybe, or yellow, I'm not sure. And number three, which is our sort of dark, dark royal blue. Um, I don't know where the ABs go on this yet, so I have a little nosy. So, quick look through the symbols, they all look pretty good to me. Can't see any that I would be concerned about. K and X are a little bit similar, 45 and 46, but... I can imagine on this canvas with all diamond dark wood canvases that it's going to be pretty clear. So I think we should be fine. We also get this sticker, which it's just a little sticker you can use to either put on the end of your box if you're storing your boxes um, horizontally. Or you can put in if you've got a record book that you keep track of everything. Um, toolkit, we don't need to go through it, but obviously I just want to see if they've sent me a multiplacer like they did with the Chuck Pinson one. I don't think we have. Oh, we have. Yes, we have. Yes. Why well, have I got number four again? Yes. So I I have spoke about multiplacers in my, I think it was my getting started video or kitting up one of my videos. Um, I cannot get on with the big multiplacers. Anything more than four and I just end up making a worse job than I tried to start with in the first place. So I will only ever use threes and fours multiplacers. So I've got number four with this one. I've got number four with the Chuck Pinson. So they will be coming really useful for the colour blocking. Especially if 
we have three ten colour blocks. Although I do like to use the tweezers for those. I really enjoy using the tweet the Diamond Art Club tweezers are really good. So yes, yeah, so we get the multiplacer, we get the squishy, we get two pieces of this heart in that's a little bit squashed that one. We get two pieces of the heart wax. I don't know why that's got a why that's squished. We get a little roll of baggies. Which I do use. I use these for my story, my spare drills in. We get the pen, blue pen with a single placer. We get the little clear tray, which they're quite cute. They're easy to put in. I use the um, they're easy to pour your drills back into the um, storage containers. And then we get the tweezers. These are the very sharp ones, guys. So be careful. Um, stabby, stabby tweezers, I call them. Not that I'm going to stab anyone with them, but I do stab myself with them. Um, they're really sharp, but they are really, really good. And so good for doing sort of three or four squares at a time. I think I can manage to do... The most I can manage to do is five. I can pick five up at a time with the, these tweezers. And it usually goes okay. <laughs> Part of the time, they just end up flying all over my canvas. But these tweezers are amazing. They are the only tweezers I use. Um, I don't like the other tweezers. I don't think they are designed well enough to work i've not used the sort of more expensive angled tweezers i've got the cheaper ones and i don't like them so yeah the toolkit is fab um tweezers always come with the squares and um, you don't get them with the rounds let's have a look at this oh wow so i'm going to take you out ignore my dressing gown <laughs> it's so cold today so i am wrapped up in my i am dressed Wrapped up with my new fluffy slippers and my fluffy dressing gown because I am now not going out of the house until I have to go and pick my son up from school. Ooh, it's so cold. I don't like the cold. <laughs> I've got the heating on but I think I need to go and turn it up because I'm still freezing. Probably doesn't help that I'm sat on the floor, does it? Let's get these drills out. I've got two packs. I was going to say that's not a very big pack. Yep, let's get the drills out the way. Step by step instructions, which we don't need. Oh, I don't know which way to do this. Are you going to be able to see it if I do it this way? <gasps> see, I've never seen this. I've, I've, I've seen a quick unboxing of it um, months and months ago when it first came out, but I've not seen it since because I wanted to surprise myself. <laughs> so. As always, the Diamond Art Club canvases are velvet soft. They roll out by themselves. I believe, I think I've seen some videos where they call it a tarpaulin or something. I'm not sure if that's the right word. I don't know. Uh, but they're just really, really velvety soft. They they don't crease. They roll out flat um, on their own. And apparently, because of the material, it shows the it holds the colours better. Apparently, that's what I've heard on some of the videos. That's not research I've done myself. It's just what I've seen other people say about the canvas material, um, which I can understand because they are amazing. Got a little cut on my hand, I think. That's not good. So, are you ready? Again, I do apologise for the light. It's a, it's even though it's not raining or anything today, in the UK it is winter, and it's cold, and it's dull, and it's dark. Even though it is morning, <laughs> so I have got my big lights on in the house just so we're not filming in the dark. Oh wow! Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm very excited and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. All those patches of what I thought was 310 isn't. <laughs> We've actually not got any. There is not a single block of 310. There's obviously all the lining, all the line work. Um, but none of it. We haven't got any big blocks of 310. Ah! Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Obviously, it's going to be a dark colour. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. It looks like 890, which I'm not sure what that one is. Is that a really, really dark green? 
we'll have a look when we look at the drills um but yes that is colorful and beautiful and amazingly charted and very very big wow oh it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous hope you can see that all right i do up again i'm sorry for the lighting i just with the clear cover on it doesn't help does it it's gorgeous so i'm going to take you in a bit closer so we can see it properly have a look where these ab's are going to sit i'm guessing you can see obviously in the sky there's a lot of stars i'm guessing that's where our paler ab might be maybe oh no we haven't got a white ab have we so maybe not maybe not this time we'll have a little look so let's go in closer and have a nosy and we're going to put i'm going to put the flash on for you oh look at her face oh it's gorgeous so let's start yeah let's let's start this way so look at her so we've got one two and three of our ab's so if we can see any so no the stars are the white dot symbol which i believe is number 3865 so it's not ab's in the sky I'm quite surprised. I can't actually see the ABs. Hmm, I thought there'd be ABs in the sky, but there's not. See how sparkly this canvas is, though. It's so sparkly. Um. Oh yeah, so number two, it looks like it's a pale yellow. You can see the number two AB all the way around the moon, so it's obviously lighting up the moon. We have. So I thought there'd be, what I might do is, I have got some white square ABs left over from another project, I think. So I might put them into where her jewellery is on her hair and her face. I might swap them anyway. Um, where's the pink ABs? The number one pink. I can't see them. Maybe they're in the dress. Oh, I can see, you know, I'm starting to see some number threes in the um, her sleeves look. See number threes there in her sleeve. Um, yeah, so, bear with me guys, someone's just coming downstairs. Hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. Paul decided to come downstairs and make a coffee, so he's made me a coffee, <laughs> so I can't complain. <laughs> um... Oh, I'm so cold. It is absolutely freezing today. So we were getting up to where the ABs were, weren't we? So we had noticed we got some in her sleeves here. You can see um, here number threes, which are the blue ABs. I'm still not sure where number one, the pink is. So I'm not sure how much of that we've got. So I don't really know. Oh, so here we are. I found some. <laughs> Over here, look, you can see number one on here. Um, and that's the background, is it? It's not part of a dress. No, it's so it's part of the background. So we've got, yeah, some more there. Um, so I don't think we've got a lot of the pink. Some more over on this side. Um, when I can get it. I can't even get it in the shot. <laughs> here we are. We've got some here. Excuse the state of my nails today. I was supposed to paint them before I did this video, but because I've got to try and fit it in, in between... Paul coming downstairs and the kids being at school. I didn't have time to paint my nails, so I do apologise. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we haven't got a lot of the pink AB, so I don't think that'll be a big bag. That'll probably be a really small amount. Um, got quite a few of the number threes, so that's all in her dress. Yeah, so all here as well. You can see we've got um, lots of highlights of the dress in number three. So we should have quite a bit of the blue. That looks like it might be our biggest bag of AB. So it's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So in the background, we've got the princess castle. Oh, it's so cute. And it's really well charted. See how small it is on the canvas. It's actually got some good detail on it. 
We've got the gorgeous moon, which has got the ABs around it. We've got the horizon and the colours are just gorgeous. Again, with what I love about these ones is you've got some good piece of colour blocking. So we've got obviously got the colour blocking on her face and in the background. So you can see these colours here. Um, some colour blocking in the sky. But then we've got a lot of confetti in the detail area. So like we've got a lot of confetti in her sleeves, puffy sleeves, in her hair. Um, and obviously in the details on the dress and the background around her. So around here, we've got a lot of the confetti areas, but then we've got some more colour blocking at the bottom. So, oh, I do apologise. The cat has escaped from the living room. So he's probably going to come over and try and eat the canvas now. Please don't, Teddy. Yeah, this is beautiful. So this one is, like I said, all this colour here is number 8, to say 820. 890, which looks like a dark green. So it's not the black I thought it was, which I'm really happy about. So the black is literally just the outlines. Um, obviously her eyelashes. Um, even the castle, it's only got the black on the um outline the other colors in that are the, just the darker colors so i think this is going to be amazing really really excited for this one so let's have a look at these drills we've got two bags of drills with this one which is amazing so which one do we go for first apparently which has got the bigger bags so i think this one's got the bigger bags we'll do this one first um Apologies for the crinkling sound. I will be as quick as I can. This is a massive one. I don't know whether I want to do this one or the Chuck Pinson one now first. Oh. So many choices. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of 310, actually. Oh, that's a lot of 310. Oh, so let's start with... 890 so that is what I thought was going to be black so obviously they've charted it a little bit brighter than the original images which is great because I really wouldn't have wanted to do big sections of black so 890 this is our colour that goes here which is really good and as you can see from Diamond Art Club the squares are just amazing quality so we've got a couple of bags of the 890 a nice big bag of 550 and then the 310. Oh my god, how many bags? Why have I got this many bags? <laughs> We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> oh. I'm hoping that's just, you know, airing on caution. But saying that, it is just the outline, so. I can't really complain. Obviously, it's a lot of black outlining, so I can't complain. It's literally just, um, yeah. <laughs> Do I have another bag? Oh, I lie. I have another bag of 310. Another bag of 310. And then we also, this is the big bag, so I knew we'd have a big bag of the blue ABs here. So this is the number three. This is the blue ABs, and look at that. Oh. <gasps> It's not as dark as I thought. It's a beautiful sort of royal blue colour. Nice bright royal blue. And as you can see, it's got the AB coating, which basically gives them, it stands for Aurora Borealis. It just gives them the extra shine. Gives some gorgeous highlights on the picture. So this is all going to be in her dress and her sleeve. So that's going to look amazing. I can't wait for that. So let's go to the next train. We've got some 939, just one bag of that. 898, 703, which is amazing colour. Oh, look at that 917. I love that colour. So we've got a few purples here. We've got some 3865, which that's obviously going, that's for the stars in the sky. Some more browns. Then going on to some greens and turquoises. Some pink, 823. Two bags of 3843. 
That's beautiful. I'm presuming that's going to go in her dress in the sky, maybe. So that's the first bag. I am going to attempt to put them all back in the bags at some point. And bag number two. Right, where do we start with this? I don't know where to start. There's so many bags of drills. There we go. The blues and greens. Oh, 601, I love this colour. See, again, I've got these in AB, but they're in round. So I can't use them. <laughs> Couple of bags of 519. Beautiful light blue. Gorgeous green. Some brighter blues. Some more greens, so there's going to be lots of blues and greens in this one. We've got a 602. Two browns, a big bag of 3837 and 820. And last one. Last one. And I find the beginning. There we go. So we've got 165, just a few of those. So these are the small bags. With some pink. Some orange so that's our first ab is it number two oh, it's number two that one so that's number two that's what goes so if i sound a bit like i'm full of cold um when i got really cold <laughs> my nose just gets really stuffy so i always sound like i've got a cold and i'm sniffling but i'm not ill i just sound like i am um i don't know what that is in there we've got a little bit of a sparkly bit of something in there so that's our um, second AB that we've found. It's a beautiful colour though. I've not had that one before. That's going to be really pretty. 743. Really pretty colour. So these are all just to add some colour accents and small bags. Really nice. And here's our pink AB. So a few more than I thought. Oh, that's so pretty. I've not had a pink AB either in the squares. So... That's real. look at that. If you can see the, they're all facing the wrong way. I've got a little. Oh, that's been put on the wrong side. <laughs> Beautiful. You can see the um, AB coating on them there. Beautiful. We've got some nine oh seven. I love that colour. Really pretty colours. And there we go. So that's all the drills. And the canvas looked at um yeah i am so excited i think i made some good choices this time around um absolutely beautiful can't wait to get started on all these um as always i will link the this canvas down below as with diamond art club um their some of their canvases come into stock and sell out really quick so even though it might be in stock now by the time you see this video or by the time you go onto the website there's a chance that it might not be in stock but you do have the option with diamond art club to if you click on a canvas and it's not in stock you can put your email address in and ask them to email you when this canvas is back in stock and they do i've had quite a few that's how i knew ice princess was back in stock because this order was done and literally the next day i got the email to say ice princess um, first edition was back in stock so a little bit gutted so i would probably have chosen nice princess over the blue winter links but it's done now nothing i can do about it i'm just gonna have to pray that the next time um i'm able to order from diamond art club that it's still in stock i don't think it will be but do have that option so they do email you as soon as the ones you've signed up to come back in stock um it's literally underneath the canvas um the post it'll say out of stock and um, there'll be a little box that you just write your email in and you click the button that says email me email me when back in stock um so that's how i knew so if you do love this one and it's not available i think it's still available uh, at the, this moment in time i did check it um last night and it was still in stock so hopefully it will be by the time you go to check same as the other two I've done, the chances that they're going to be in stock, it's not guaranteed. 
but they do sort of bring them i know that this when it first came out it sold out really quick and then it's come back in because when i had melinda and muhu and moon glow this wasn't none of these three were available um, I think Blue Winter Links was, but the Off to the Ball and the Chuck Pinson one, Island Time, they weren't in stock at that time because obviously I would have ordered those over Melinda and Moohoo, I think. Um, even though I love doing it and it's it turned out absolutely amazing, it wasn't one of the ones I'd got at the top of my list, if that makes sense. Um, but, but when I was looking at that, they had a very, very low stock and it was just the best of the bunch um moon glow was one i'd wanted for a while so i was really happy when that one was available i don't know which ones are as i said i'll pop the link below do not get disheartened if it's not available because it will be i'm sure it will be again at some point but they do have a lot of the new stuff on there as well they brought out a lot i think it was after black friday that weekend and then early last week they just seemed to bring out they had loads of new releases all of a sudden um which was typical after I had, my order had been done. Um, but like I said, I'm not I'm not mad um, because I got the canvases I wanted. So, oh, I've just noticed the number one, the pink, is all in this in the carriage. The number, the pink AB. I've just noticed it's all in these little details on the carriage itself. So that's why we've got an, um, a little bit more than the yellow colour. So, yep. Instagram link is also below guys. I always post the starting picture. I post all my works in progress and I always post about what videos I'm doing, what deliveries I've got. Um happy to answer any questions. Emails always below as well, so you can either message me through my email or through my Instagram. And any comments below, I will always get back to you. So thank you for watching. Um yeah, thanks again and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.